From Hollywood time once again for Money TV, I'm Don Belarjan. Thanks for joining us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. You know, in every James Bond movie, it seemed like there was always some madman trying to take over the world. From Dr. No to Ernst Stavro Blofeld, audiences worldwide have been entertained by that formula for more than half a century. But here in 2017, our world has indeed been taken over, and not by a madman, but by social media. And we, the human race, are going along with it quite willingly. Using just Facebook as an example, there are more than 1.6 billion active users globally, which means that's more than the population of any single country on the planet. Now think about that for a second. If Facebook users were their own country, it would be the world's largest. Facebook earns, according to NBC News, almost $4 in revenue per user. From a market cap standpoint, each Facebook user is worth about $200. Facebook's users spend 10.5 billion minutes per day on the platform, according to the company's 2012 IPO filings. Now, that staggering number doesn't even account for the mobile users. And engagement based on the number of monthly users who log into the site every day is even higher today. Assuming that users spend about the same amount of time now, that means people all over the world have spent a collective 55 million years on Facebook since the beginning of 2009. If you're spending 20 minutes a day on Facebook, that will equal more than a year of your life, cyber liking pictures of cats, looking at people's lunches, and screaming at each other over politics. Facebook users are closing in on $3.5 trillion in lost productivity. How do you think your boss feels about that? If every Facebook user were to take the 20 minutes per day they spend on the site and do something productive, earning only minimum wage, they would generate enough income to buy the Facebook company in just six months. Since 2009, their collective earnings would be greater than the gross domestic product of the United Kingdom. And let's face it about Facebook. The social media site has become a cesspool of political diatribe and arguments and fake news and lost friends. It's become almost unusable for me as the quaint posts from classmates and old friends from years gone by have been replaced by hate-filled rhetoric about this candidate or that president or this protest or that crowd side. Frankly, it's become utterly ridiculous. Social media has actually made people less social. The world has been taken over, and James Bond is powerless to save us. Well, here's something you don't have to worry about ever paying for us. Our toll-free number, good from anywhere in the world, you're watching the program, 888-259-4449, to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. It is also free. Again, toll-free from anywhere in the world, 888-259-4449. Be sure and visit us at moneytv.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.